Hey everybody, let's talk about what you can learn from watching um, very popular big big videos. So if you watch that footage, then you'll learn that they probably showed you something that you've never seen before, or at least the audience never saw before. So these types of things uh, definitely draw people in, they'll share, it makes them very shareable, and it makes people feel good enough that they'll want to come back and see that stuff again. That's the reason why the Good Samaritan type videos, the kindness videos, stuff like that, work so well and it gets so many likes. The video is really good quality. So we know that cell, uh, cell phones today are definitely um, like a Samsung 21 SE or something like that is good enough. Um, it's 4K and shooting can shoot in 60 frames. Um, so that's kind of important to have that type of quality. You want to um, put it on a gimbal or something so it's not bouncing around. The video is less than nine minutes long. So, when I first got into YouTube, uh, long videos was the way to go, and I uh, definitely drop, uh, push your, your time, um, your watch time up. Uh, this newer generation, you know, the younger, uh, you guys are just not out there looking to spend 30 minutes watching a video. But you will spend a, a couple minutes, you know, on silent watching that video. So, it may not be a bad idea, guys, to start to uh, add captions. That way they can turn their video, their volume all the way down where they're at work. And uh, nobody hears them, but they can still follow along. Short videos. Tired footage is action-packed. So you really want to draw them in so it's constantly. Um, and this also depends on your niche. So I know that uh, if you're really into the camping niche and stuff like that, sometimes those fires will, that run on for five, 10 minutes, you know, at nighttime, will draw a lot of attention. On the flip side, I also know that um, you can do a really, like a YouTube shorts, and you can do an RC car jumping around and stuff like that, draws in too. Keep it action packed based upon your niche. The title is very search friendly. So this is where you want to do your search engine op optimization because you definitely want to be able to put it in there. Just because it's searchable for you and that's the title you thought of doesn't mean that it's always the best title. So before you add your title and start editing your video, go ahead, go up to your YouTube search bar, the title you got in mind, slap it in there and see what comes up. Um, obviously, you want a title that you don't want um, an example. If you put a title in and uh, only 100 people ser is searching for that. But if you change some of the wording around or if you try a different couple of words in there and you're using the keywords um, from your video that about what it's going to be about for your description or your tags, then you start opening up a lot more titles that you can use. Um, and you'll see when those words are arranged certain ways and certain words, all your search results start coming up. So, you know, like if I put in bushcraft, 100,000 people are gonna pop up. That's so huge that it's really not, my channel just gets buried and lost. But if it's hashtag bushcraft, um, how to make a bench, well then that seems to drop, that really starts to narrow it down. Um, I've gotten gotten some of my videos to actually be within 10, the top 10 search results, which is really good for bushcraft. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. It's just an example. Uh, let's see what else we got. Promotion helps. So you can, you can never go wrong with promotion. So promote, promote, promote. You can use Promoter, which I recommend. Um, TubeBuddy helps. Uh, VidIQ, um, you know, Brit MRE is really good about, uh, really knowledgeable on, um, VidIQ. Whatever platform you want to use to promote, promote. Uh, you are your biggest promoter and that's what you're going to have to do. And if you have to pay to promote, pay to promote. And, uh, with that, I'm going to tell you to stay safe, stay armed, stay free, and I'll see you next Sunday.